he lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, and that is what we're going to do. We're going to lift up our voice with one accord. Everywhere you are, in Asia, in Europe, in Australia, in New Zealand, in Africa, in, in Latin America, everywhere you are, we lift up our voice with one accord. We are going to thank the Lord for what God has been doing in this global crusade. How God has been saving souls, how God has been delivering the oppressed, how God has been using Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi to reach out to save sinners, to deliver the oppressed. We want to thank the Lord. We want to give God all the glory for all the move of God, the notable miracles that we have witnessed. You must have heard about how God raised the dead. Even in this last crusade in December, in Nigeria here, outside Nigeria, everywhere on the social media, the Lord has been touching lives. And all we want to say is just to give glory to the Lord. Let me hear your amen. Amen. We are going to thank the Lord because the Lord loves us. Because despite this COVID-19, that God is still moving. God is showing his mercy to us. God is showing his love to sinners by saving them. God is showing his mercy to people that are sick by healing them. God has been demonstrating his power that is still God. Lift up your voice. Raise up your hand to the sky. If you want to shout, shout. If you want to uh, sing, you can sing. Just make sure that everywhere you are, in our location here in Ibadan, and everywhere where we are connected, make sure that we are praying. Make sure that we are praying. Let heaven know that there are a body of people that are giving glory to God. Let heaven know that we are not an ingrate. Give God all the glory. Give God all the honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me hear your loud, loud amen. Amen. We want to give thanks to the Lord for the salvation of souls. What I know from the word of God, the assurance that we have is that every time, every month when we have this global crusade being led by our able minister, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, angels rejoice in heaven every month. And that is going to happen this month, even from today. Angels rejoice in heaven. There are multitude of souls that have been saved, that have been brought into God's kingdom. We need to give thanks to the Lord for that. Raise up your voice. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all the energy that you have. Give God all the glory. Thank the Lord because God is going to do greater things. More souls will be saved, will be brought into God's kingdom. Watch, bless the name of the Lord. Thank God because God will do it. God will do it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let me hear you loud. Amen. Amen. We are going to thank God for diverse miracles. Diverse miracles in diverse locations. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 says, And God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders. We have seen it in this global crusade. Signs and wonders with diverse miracles. And the gift of the Holy Ghost. We have seen the demonstration of the gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Spirit. The gift of faith. The gift of working of miracles. The gift of healing. We have seen the gift of prophecy, the gift of word of knowledge in demonstration. Give God all the glory. We have seen more of that. We will see even more of that today. Give God all the glory. From today till the end of the crusade, we are going to see that God using our Father in the Lord, using Him mightily. Give God all the glory. 
We need to thank God for that. We need to thank God for that, for the diverse miracles. How dead were raised back to life. People with cancer, they were, they were rescued, they were healed. People with blindness, their eyes, God opened. Exactly as we read it in the Bible, it is happening in our time. Give God all the glory for that. Give God all the glory for that. And as you do that, miracles will begin to happen. Give God all the glory for that. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to thank God. One thing we need to thank God for in this crusade is the miracle of multiplication. God has been providing for all our needs. And everywhere this crusade has been held, held there is a stamp, there is a mark that is left behind. Miracle of multiplication. Miracle of blessings. Worship the name of the Lord. Thank God because of what God has done for us in this global crusade. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Shout aloud, Amen. Amen. We're going to thank the Lord for our Father and the Lord, the chief speaker of this global crusade, that the Lord gave him the vision and is executing the vision. Thank you. Let's worship the name of the Lord because the Lord, that our general superintendent is always obedient to the heavenly vision. Let's give God all the glory. The Lord gave him the vision and is obedient to the heavenly vision. Let's thank God for the sandal that God has given to him. Let's thank God because he's agile, he's strong. Every time you see him, every time we see him, he's always shining, even physically. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's give God all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Lastly, we are going to pray. We are going to pray for the, for, for the chief speaker of this global crusade that from today, Till the end of the crusade. Today is the very first day of the crusade. From today till the end, the mighty power of the Lord will be upon him. The mighty power of the Lord will be upon him. The mighty power of the Lord will be upon him. That we will see the hand of God through him in a, in, 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 in a higher dimension. In the name of Jesus, the, the Lord will pour his spirit, pour his anointing upon him. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord, because you are present in this place. We, there is no shadow of doubt that, that you are with us, Lord. We are grateful to you. We raise up our voice to the heavens. We thank you because of what you have been doing and the greater things that you are going to do in this global crusade. Lord, I pray that from today, let wonders begin to happen. This will be the father of all crusade. In the name of Jesus, we, I, we, we, we pray for our Father in the Lord and all other able ministers supporting him. Lord, I pray that your hand will be upon all of them. And Lord, miracles that has never happened in this crusade will happen from here, not just in our location here in Ibadan, everywhere, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And you know today is your day. Shout a loud amen. Listen, the louder your amen is, the greater is your miracle. Praise the Lord. I want to say that the first announcement I have tonight to present before you, the first announcement is this. Jesus will set you free. The second announcement is the weapon of God's warfare, of freedom, the father of faith, our father of 
in the faith is in the house. Put your hands together for Jesus. Wave your hands and wave your hands. Let everybody hear. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. We have a lot of people who are here today. Special people and great men of God, women of God, who have come to attend this meeting. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. We don't have the time now to call everyone, but later on, by the permission of our Father and the Lord, you shall be identified. But then we'd like to say that all these great people of God who are here tonight, we receive the blessings of God tonight. All over the world, this crusade has been transmitted and a burden is the origin, the source of the transmission. And miracles will happen tonight. We need to let us understand that this crusade, that's the third announcement, continues tomorrow up to Tuesday. And so we expect you to keep coming every day and come very early. Some are still coming on the way. We are sure of that. But then if you come too late, I pray you will not come too late. Tomorrow, 7 o'clock at Glory Tabernacle, Bodija, the Red Cross Sea, our Father in the Lord will be ministering to pastors and prophets and evangelists and general overseers and church workers from all the churches on this planet. Who could make it? Put your hands together for Jesus. It will be a wonderful time. Let's come there to see the secret of his success so that we, by the grace of God, can follow the same path and be successful as he is. Say amen. amen. We want to announce number four. That everywhere we are tonight, pay attention. Whatever you are hearing this, the sound of the voice of the preacher, of the apostle. Just pay attention. Let your faith stay with you. And the last amen will solve the problem. Say that amen properly. And as we are coming, all those who are not seated well, let us just help us to arrange them. We have enough chairs to go around. More announcements will come later on, but here we will stop now. Listen.